There's been a fair amount of Nintendo TV shows throughout the years, and even a few movies like the Super Mario Bros. live-action film, as well as the animated Animal Crossing film from 2006. But for every show or film that actually released, there's a project that got scrapped. In this video, we'll be talking about a few of the more interesting and unique lost Nintendo shows and movies, with the first project being a modern take on their classic fantasy franchise. In 2015, the Wall Street Journal reported that a new show based on the Legend of Zelda franchise was in the works at Netflix, with Nintendo reportedly working closely alongside Netflix to bring Hyrule to life. At the time of the Wall Street Journal's article, the show was said to be in its early stages of development, with Netflix seeking writers to start work on the project. As an indication of what the final project might look like, the show was apparently described as a Game of Thrones but for family audiences. This rumor seemed a bit unrealistic to some, as Nintendo has historically been very protective of their intellectual properties being used for TV and film. As such, several outlets tried to get confirmation on the rumor. The Wall Street Journal reached out to both Nintendo and Netflix, with a Netflix spokeswoman declining to comment, and a Nintendo spokesperson simply saying that they don't comment on rumors and speculation. Just over a month after the rumor broke, Time.com got the chance to ask then-Nintendo president Satoru Iwata about the rumor. Iwata responded by saying, As of now, I have nothing new to share with you in regard to the use of our IPs for any TV shows or films, but I can at least confirm that the article in question is not based on correct information. Iwata's comments didn't seem to outright refute the rumors, which to some looked like confirmation that something was actually happening behind the scenes with Nintendo and Netflix. Despite there being some optimism, nothing came of the rumor for quite some time. Six years after the original article, the project was finally confirmed to be real by comedian and writer Adam Conover, who's worked on several Netflix projects. But the confirmation came with some bad news that the project had been outright cancelled by Nintendo. Conover appeared as a guest on the Surf Times podcast and dropped a bombshell 40 minutes into the video. Not only did Nintendo scrap the Zelda show, but they also canceled the stop-motion Star Fox series that was also in the works at Netflix. Conover lamented, Suddenly there were reports Netflix wasn't going to do its Legend of Zelda anymore. I was like, what happened? And then I heard from my boss we weren't doing our Star Fox anymore. I was like, what happened? He was like, someone at Netflix leaked the Legend of Zelda thing. They weren't supposed to talk about it, Nintendo freaked out, and they pulled the plug on everything. The entire program to adapt to these things. This Star Fox series was going to be produced by College Humor with direct input from Star Fox creator Shigeru Miyamoto. The show's visual style would have been based on Wes Anderson's stop-motion adaptation of Roald Dahl's Fantastic Mr. Fox. This came about after College Humor made a 2011 parody short titled Fantastic Mr. Star Fox that parodied both Star Fox and the Fantastic Mr. Fox film. It's clear that a lot of love went into the short, with College Humor being able to not only understand the Star Fox world, but faithfully recreate the animation style of Wes Anderson. And it clearly impressed Nintendo enough for them to give the green light to adapt an entire series. However, according to Conover, the project was short-lived and was unfortunately cancelled along with the live-action Zelda series. There's been no official word on whether Nintendo actually pulled the plug on these shows due to a leak, but it does roughly line up with their past behavior. In September 2017, the Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga 3DS remake leaked online several weeks ahead of its official launch due to an online influencer. In response, Nintendo heavily scaled back the amount of outlets and influencers who were given early copies of Nintendo games to review. Yeah, that would really suck for uh, anyone who that happened to. <clears throat> the general consensus at the time was that this was an overreaction by Nintendo, as not only did Nintendo know exactly who leaked their game, but their retaliation disproportionately affected small reviewers and websites that had nothing to do with the leak. Likewise, the Netflix projects being cancelled seemed like an overreaction to the crews making the shows. After all, if all the leak did was confirm that the project existed, it's hardly a major spoiler. However, to give some credit to Nintendo, if the leak did come from a source at Netflix, it's understandable that they might want to distance themselves from a company they feel has shown unprofessional behavior and is incapable of protecting sensitive information. But some projects we're covering didn't even make it this far into production. In 2013, news broke that a few years earlier, a fairly established animation studio attempted to get approval to produce a CG Zelda film. The pitch in question was put forward by Imagi Animation Studios, who might sound familiar to you if you're a fan of TMNT. Although the studio was formed in 2000, Imagi's first major project wasn't until 2007 with TMNT, which they produced themselves over the course of two years. And it seems that after TMNT, Imagi jumped straight into this Zelda pitch, which was produced in early 2007. It was supervised and edited 
created by Imagi animator Adam Holmes, who is actually the reason anyone knows about this pitch in the first place. Holmes posted the pitch video to his portfolio website for all to see. In the pitch, Zelda is hunted down and ambushed by Ganon's forces. This leads to Link saving her from Ganon's grunts, but results in Ganon confronting them directly himself. Unfortunately, the video ends before the confrontation. Despite the quality of the animation and Imagi demonstrating at least a basic understanding and admiration for the franchise, the pitch was turned down by Nintendo. Instead, Imagi would end up working on the 2009 Astro Boy movie based on the popular manga of the same name. But unfortunately, Astro Boy had a disappointing performance at the box office, reportedly only making 42 million despite having a budget of 65 million. We'd like to say that Imagi's luck changed after Astro Boy, but this was followed by several more cancelled projects, and the studio hasn't released a movie since. And Imagi isn't alone, another CG Nintendo movie pitch was turned down. On November 24th, 2014, there was a very high-profile cyber attack on Sony Pictures by a hacking group calling itself Guardians of Peace. This group leaked private information stored on Sony's servers, which included the personal info of employees such as their private emails. This data leak included emails from film producer Avi Arad, who you might know as the guy who is currently working to adapt Uncharted and Metal Gear Solid onto the silver screen. But this isn't all Arad was working on. In the leaked emails, it was revealed that he was negotiating with Nintendo to have Sony Pictures produce a Super Mario Bros. movie. One email even showed pictures of Arad with Miyamoto and Satoru Iwata confirming that some sort of in-person discussion took place. Amy Pascal, another film producer, had even forwarded one of the emails to somebody else at Sony, adding, Avi closed Mario Brothers. Arad would later deny that any deal on Super Mario Brothers had been finalized. Whatever the situation was behind the scenes, it clearly wasn't good for Sony. In 2018, Nintendo officially announced that Illumination Entertainment would be producing a CG Super Mario Brothers film, and not Sony. In fact, Illumination is owned by Universal Studios, who are one of Sony Pictures' biggest rivals, which must have stung. Interestingly, Shigeru Kara Miyamoto was introduced to Illumination via Universal Parks and Resorts, who'd been working with Nintendo to make the Super Nintendo World theme parks. Miyamoto told VentureBeat that he'd been interested in doing an animated Mario film for some time, but wanted to make sure he did it with the right company, and eventually found Illumination through Universal. Similarly, Illumination were looking for the perfect project, too. CEO Chris Melendari even told Variety he was glad that the 1993 Mario film flopped, and that it failed because the team making it didn't embrace or involve Nintendo enough, a mistake he suggested they wouldn't repeat. And this isn't the only animated Super Mario Bros. film that was scrapped. In April 1989, an issue of the Los Angeles Times reported that Deke Entertainment would be producing a full-length feature film based on Nintendo's Super Mario Bros. video game series. This was apparently planned for a 1990 release and would be produced alongside the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. This time frame lines quite well with the other reports of an animated Mario movie. One example comes from a 1990 issue of TV Guide with the magazine listing several upcoming animated features, including a Super Mario Bros. movie set to release in the summer of 1991. Another report can be found in David Chef's Game Over, How Nintendo Conquered the World, which seemed to confirm the TV Guide. There was another feature movie in the works too, an animated movie similar to, but hopefully better, than the TV cartoons. The time frame of these statements seemed to suggest that there was once an animated movie planned by Deke. However, talks must have broken down or developed over time, leading to the production of a live-action Mario movie instead. Did you know that many Nintendo characters have been lost to time, including those from franchises like Mario, Zelda, and Donkey Kong? For more on that, click the video on the screen. And if you want more Nintendo, check out our tier list video on the best 3D Mario games. Thanks for watching.